Hey guys, what's up? It's Matthew Black and we're back on the PS4 and today we're going to play Minecraft. This is uh, the first video of hopefully a lot I'm going to do of my console map which is called Lost Atlas. Um, most people play Minecraft on the PC which makes perfect sense but um, my channel's for PlayStation mostly so we're going to be doing it on the console. And uh, this map has got me through a lot of times where I didn't have a PC. I made it on the PS3 and I eventually transferred it to the PS4 and I've spent a lot of time here and I'm really proud of it. Um, this is my first video that we're gonna, tutorial video that I'm going to do. This is called the covered footbridge, which you're seeing here. Uh, like I said, guys, this is my first tutorial video, so it might get a little rough, but I promise you guys, I'm going to do my best. And as you can see, I'm the red panda, because red pandas rule, and uh, that's what I've always played as on the console out of the options that we have on the PlayStation but um this is on the natural texture pack on the PS4 and I had the same texture pack on the PS3 I'm assuming Xbox 360 and Xbox one have this texture pack as well on the computer the equivalent would be or actually something way better would be uh, either John Smith or of course I would suggest conquest but anyway on the console we've got the uh, the um, natural texture pack but if you have the regular texture pack it'll look something like this so uh which i don't like nowhere near as well but it still works i just spoiled myself by using other texture packs so uh let's uh move on to the tutorial world and get straight to it okay here we are in the tutorial world and here's our perfect replica of the covered footbridge the only difference is really on this one is the uh, vines have a different pattern because there's no reason to do the exact same pattern or the leaves i should say and the water level is higher so that you guys can see that uh this is right up against the water whereas the other one had a one block space and the one we're gonna build is gonna actually have no water at all all right and uh in case you guys were wanting to know the specs for this which will be in the description as well is the entire bridge is 22 blocks long in total length and it is 12 blocks high in it is 10 blocks wide and that is from glowstone to glowstone if you include the space that the trap doors take up that would be um 12 blocks wide but that's not necessary because even if you were for some reason going to put it right up against something then you could just delete this trap door and you would never see it because it's right up against it but anyway so 10 blocks wide 12 blocks high and 22 blocks long and it is made the gap that this specific build and of course I'm assuming that you guys are definitely smart enough to lengthen this bridge if you wanted to just take the bridge and take the middle part and just extend it out and make it longer but um this uh this build is over a 14 block gap so this is a 14 block uh gap that it's going to be built over so let's grab our stairs our um slabs and our full blocks that we're going to be using for this first part all right and uh pay no mind to these gold blocks they're actually for me not for you uh ah creepy darkness noise okay so just um at least one block back from your from wherever your gap is gonna start put place your um uh, stone bricks there then a uh, stone brick two nether bricks and a stone brick and that's the beginning of a pattern that will take all the way across eventually so um, then you want to place a uh, nether brick here here and here so one two and three that's two out and one up and go ahead and uh, stack your stairs on up on top of that then you want to if well, i you can you can um use full blocks here but on mine on the original i put slabs for some reason that way if you were down at water level there was just a little bit more texture to the build for some reason okay we're gonna um we're gonna do this pattern right here with the redstone it just goes one two one two one two like that so one two one two one two i'll repeat that on the other side we've already got the one two one two one 
two, and uh, then it comes up right here. One, two, one, two. And then it's one, two, three, like so. One, two, three, four. So you've got that shape there. Uh, so that's, again, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So you end up with this shape here. Then we'll go ahead and put our upside down stairs on. Upside down stairs. And uh, let's see, what do we have to do? Then you put a full block on top of each one of those top ones right here. Full block full block and uh, then we'll do a upside down stair on the outside of it upside down stair then a stair on top of it facing inward stair on top of it facing inward then you want to do a upside down stair upside down stair then come out to the front put a upside down stair facing this way so you get that little corner stair uh, adds a little texture in there again on the other side then um, on top of that you'll put another upside down stair another upside down stair then um, we'll be using a oak plank go ahead and put two oak planks there for now put a upside down stair on this side of it another one facing inward on that then we'll do two full blocks on top of those and two upside down stairs on top of those and that completes the whole original arc of the bridge and uh let's go over on the other side and try to do that again all right i'm two back from the uh the gap that i want to do i'm gonna do a stair full block nether nether full block and a stair and then on the back of those I'm gonna do my one two one two one two one two one two one two all right and then we'll um, do a full block of bricks there other bricks nether bricks stone bricks there half slab stone brick nether nether stone brick there and then let's uh, take our stairs on up take our stairs on up and uh then we um well not on the top here sorry my bad and then we'll uh, up to from there up to from there then we do the uh one two three one two three four one two three one two three four and then we'll uh go ahead and throw our upside down stairs on those come on upside down stair upside down stair upside down stair now we do a full block full block upside down stair stair on top upside down stair stair on top and then in inside of this stair we do a another upside down stair another upside down stair then we come out to this side put a stair facing that way so that you get your corner blocks then on top of that a stair facing inward another stair facing inward grab your oak wood planks put it across there then put an upside down stair get over here put an upside down stair then two full blocks and two more stairs and that completes the other side of your bridge. So now you have two identical sides, and let's get on to the next part. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, come underneath and put a upside down stair on each of this part on underneath there, and then a block on there, right there, and then coming out from that block, an upside down stair, an upside down stair, and then uh, we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. So right here on the under the first little corner upside down stair upside down stair then full blocks all around on those two and then we'll do two more upside down not up there coming out from those 
full blocks. And then on top of that full block, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five full blocks. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Just bring it up even with those. So we'll do that on this side. And right here. And right there. And then what we're going to do is grab our upside down stairs and come across right here. Right there. Boom. Boom. All right. And we'll do that on the other side. One down. Grab your upside down stairs. Go all the way across with them. And then let's go down to the uh, first block. We'll go across like that with regular stairs, not with upside down stairs. So on the first block, there we go. Not on the stair itself. So there's that. That makes a two block opening right there. Let's do it again like that. And now we have the beginnings of our windows. Um, so now what we need to do is come right here, come one block over, place a block. One block over, place a block. So that's on both sides. Come over here. One block over, place a full block. One block over, place a full block. Okay, those are our markers for where our uh, windows are going to go. So go ahead and delete the stair under that. And the stair directly under that. So it makes a... You can make a straight line of full blocks underneath right, where you put it. So right there. Right there. Down, 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 and you've got that now. Let's do that on the other side real quick. Um, full blocks, column, um, full block, column, and there you go. Let's get on to the next part. Okay, we can actually take full blocks and fill in these little holes here. Um... We just use regular blocks to fill in these holes, and then we'll get on to the to the bottom here. We need to um, we need to fill in the actual inside steps. So grab your stone brick slabs and your nether brick slabs, and we'll go from here. We go up one, two. You kind of have to do this weird thing. Three, and uh, to get over here, you need to do it like that four so we got four steps with half slabs and we'll do that again on the other side one two uh crap and uh three and four like so and then you can just come in with your nether brick and one two th three four i don't understand the creepy noise one two three four so there's your uh, your original steps, and we'll uh, do that on this side um, real quick. One, two, go back. What are you doing? Three, four, one, two, three, and four. Fill those in with your nether bricks. And of course, if you're using something else, I think this would look really good with wood too. Uh, but it looks great with the four colors. Or I meant with the two colors. What am I talking about? Four colors, like the with the pathway like that. Okay, just come across the bottom there. With continue the pattern. Come across the bottom like that, and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, the bottom part. Okay, get your uh, full full block of stone bricks, and underneath the window. Take that half slab that you placed, delete it, and replace it with a full block. Same for this window. Same length as the window, so that one's a two. And then one for that window. So you've got that shape there. Um, same on the other side. You take the half slab from the actual pathway, you replace it with a full block. Delete these two, because the window is two. Full block. Delete this one, and full block. Now what you need to do is grab your mossy cobblestone wall and place it on the side of each one of those full blocks. Same with this side. Mossy cobblestone wall and there you go. 
And then now what we're going to do is grab your spruce wood or whichever type of log you want to use. I'm sure the dark oak would look good. If you're going for like a red bridge, uh, the acacia I'm sure would look amazing. Actually, I kind of want to use the acacia. Let's use the acacia just to see what it looks like. Why not? Um, anyway, grab it, put it here, and run it all straight across where the uh, cobblestone wall is. And of course, make sure you fix that. Now let's do that again. There. Uh, we'll do both of these at once. And uh, in the middle it has two, as you see over there. Um, and I kind of like the way the acacia looks. With the, It goes with the redstone with it both being this kind of red bridge. Um, anyway, bring it under there. And there's that part. And we'll move on to the the next part. Well, I gotta fix this. What's going on here? Nothing, apparently. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, uh, let's take another brick, and you can just fill the spots in right here. These four little holes. Go ahead and fill those guys in, and they're good to go. Now what? Uh, let's see. We can actually do our lanterns now, our exterior lanterns. So go ahead and grab your cobblestone wall your glowstone um you need trap doors and you need the uh stone slabs and this is where those come in so let's grab those okay right here on the top here you come one in and you put it right there uh, a cobblestone wall come out by two and then down by one and then put your uh uh, glowstone then grab a slab put it on the bottom and then you just surround it with trapdoors and flip them up to make your lantern um, let's do that over here you come over by one sorry if you guys hear my dog barking it's going crazy for some reason all right you come over by one and then out by two and down put that there grab a stone slab at the bottom and then do your trap doors for the lantern. Okay, I'll do the other two on the other side, and then I'll get right back with you. All right, now you guys should have all four lanterns done. The next thing we're going to do is take these stone bricks, and right here where we have this, grab it and just bring it all the way across and meet it in to the one that you have on the other side. So that's the upside down um, stone brick stairs. Grab it. Bring it all the way across until it meets in with the other one. And it all, you might notice it changes your cobblestone wall up a little bit, adds that little uh, thing there. So where it was straight, now has that extra thing, and it looks really cool. And uh, the next thing is we're gonna do, and this really isn't important. You can skip this part out if you're in if you're in survival mode and you're hurting for supplies. But I grab these nether brick slabs and put them on the back side of this and all it does is kind of add more depth to the interior look of the bridge let's actually do a um red roof let's put acacia woods um slabs and acacia wood stairs just to see what that would look like just, you guys can still use spruce if you want to I used spruce on that one I used spruce on the original one so I'm just gonna use acacia this time but anyway on these upside down stairs come over by two place in a, uh, a slab and bring it all the way over until you get to where there's two on this side let's try the other side one two put one come all the way over until you leave two on this side then grab your stairs come in just put it on that side of that stair and we'll come across with the stairs and uh let's do it on this side grab a stair put it there and we'll come across with the stairs. Then um, you just simply do the same thing up here. Put it against that stair. Come across. And it should meet up with that one perfectly. Do it on the other side. Grab it. Uh, put it with the stair. Bring it all the way across. And it should meet up with that stair. And then the only one that's different is right here. Just put it right there on top of that one. What am I doing? Bring it all the way across, and the same on 
the other side, of course. Right there. You just put it on the backs of these. Bring it all the way across. And that's your roof. Super simple. And it looks good in red. Okay, for the next part, we're going to do uh, the wood that goes right here. We need the oak. So let's get the oak wood planks and the oak wood stair. So right here. We got a stair and a stair. And then put a block. Um, oh, sorry. Block. And then a block. And then a stair. Not like that. Like this. And then a stair. And then on top of that, put four blocks. And then put two stairs. And those should meet in with your two blocks. And if you want to, sometimes on the other builds, I put blocks there filling in those holes and you should have that look there all right same thing on this side uh stair St uh, not there stair block block stair stair four blocks on top of that not you there we go and then two upside down blocks which meet perfectly into those and fill in this area and you should have the same look on both sides and we'll move on to the next part all right guys and we're almost done that only leaves a uh the interior and uh a little part here that goes into water so grab your stone bricks actually come right here on either side of this uh, and go ahead and take that down however big your uh, however deep this would go just take those all the way down to until they meet the ground um so those are the structure support for your um for your uh bridge and if your bridge is really long you'll want to do structure supports in the middle as well okay for the interior we're gonna need um oak wood slabs we're gonna need cobblestone wall we're gonna need glowstone your stone slabs and your trap doors and i do believe Oh, and uh, we do need to finish with the um, oak wood stairs as well. Okay, so first we're going to take the oak wood stairs and we're going to connect it to that stair right there, regular, and then uh, come all the way across just like that. So upside down oak stairs, connect to that one and bring it all the way across just like that. Then what we're going to do, grab the oak wood slabs and we're gonna bring them across just like that right on top of those and we're gonna do uh, three of these so put a space in between and then cross that's four across a space in between that's four across okay so that's three of those now we'll do a space in between and right here right above where you have the two block window we're gonna do a two block one of these across there and then another space and we'll do that another space we'll do that and then against the wall on the other side so it's exactly the same so we have one two three and then a block of two and then one two three more all right so let's take our cobblestone wall out and right here where we have the two put it against the uh all the way against the ceiling up there and uh make you want to go one two three four five six so it's two wide and that's three down and uh let's do that on the other side of this two block one okay so one two and three and that is where your lanterns go right there and go ahead and put your stone slabs on the bottom of those and get your trap doors on the sides of those um and now you've got your interior lanterns so that you can walk safe at night and then we'll get on to uh this part here we're gonna go i believe it's wherever the gap is for that you're gonna go across like this that didn't work okay and then under that in between those two across like this so 
that's one and then two of those and then on the other side we do the same thing underneath in the gap right there connected to the upside down stairs one two and the gap there which is just one block away from this connected to the upside down stairs one two all right and that's pretty much it for the interior of the bridge you've got all these uh little rafters here which adds all this depth and all this texture to it if your bridge is longer obviously this scenario is going to be different but all i did is i spaced them one block apart and then i, I down a layer i put these one block apart on the uh on the opposite blocks of those so it's alternating so it, you have all this depth when you look up in there so if you build your bridge longer i'm sure you'll be able to do that and just place the lanterns however you want to inside of that you'll find a way okay so now on to the uh the leaves if you want to do them which they're pretty much random but uh you can grab your leaves and oh they're over here i'm using oak leaves you can use whatever kind of leaves you want but you just place the oak leaves on here at random i like to click 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 clip them in right there and just kind of come up and over and up and over and uh, you can connect them like this up and over connected over uh, down over come out and down and just try to make them connect if you can uh, but there's that all right guys and I went ahead and filled it in with water as you can see uh, this is the way I had it on lost atlas and this is the way I have it here um, this is right up against it it looks okay but I think it actually brings a lot away from it so if you guys are building this over a river I would kind of suggest building the water level a block down which is the same way I had it on lost atlas um, put it a block down and it'll look a lot more natural and it gives the bridge the arc I wanted I'll actually jump over to the lost atlas map real quick and show you what I'm talking about all right guys and here we are on lost atlas and as you can see I've got oh, mine over a waterfall hello mr. cow anyway uh, but I do have a river I built on this side all the way across and your river can vary in lengths but right at the bridge I had it kind of the exact size this is the exact size same size bridge so this water is a pretty much a 14 block gap but anyway um you've got that uh, one space between the water and the logs and I think that gives it the bridge a much better feel and you guys will do little edits like I did this because my lay of the land was higher I brought it down and then back up but you'll um, you guys will make it suit your needs for your maps I'm sure and if you whatever you build this out of and it looks really cool if you connect it to a road so if you build it with wood or different materials uh, you might consider attaching the little road to it because that's really the, the whole reason I made it two colors to begin with and it really pulled the whole together. look together. Alright guys and that's it for my first Minecraft tutorial video. I think it went really well. I did of course mess up uh, several times. I said the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. Uh, but all in all I think it was pretty good and I'm proud of the result. I hope that some of you guys use this. If you do the only thing I ask is you know if you're using it on a server online give me credit. Uh, send people over. Let them watch the video. Um, just give me credit but um, I really hope you do guys do use this and uh, it was useful to you maybe you learned something uh, I'm not the best builder but I do my best if you have any more suggestions uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments right now I'm not doing anything else on Minecraft but I hope to do more let's builds and build tutorials here soon so just let me know about that as for now I've got salt and sanctuary I've got the walking dead Michonne I've got unravel I'm fixing to do Dark Souls, so you can watch one of those videos, or you can just wait for another Minecraft video. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe for more videos, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you then.